heard positive comments, so you know, oh, but nice yeah, that you know, that's eighty <coughs> percent of it right there. People can deal with the heat, but rain. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to our Historic Preservation Commission uh, meeting. It's uh, Wednesday, June 27, 2018, 8.30 a.m. Uh, city staff, please call roll. Chairman Powers. Here. Commissioner Doherty. Here. Commissioner Harold. Here. Commissioner Kraus. Here. Commissioner Maloof. Commissioner Matuzak. Here. Commissioner Smith. Great. We do have a quorum. City staff. Uh, Okay, we'll go to uh, approval of the May 23rd, uh, 2013 minutes. Are there any corrections or modifications, commissioners? Uh, just a minor point on page two regarding uh, including the additional buildings. It states Dunmar Temple. It's actually Don Meyer or Obed and Isaacs. So. Okay, so noted. Any other corrections or modifications? Okay. <coughs> any further discussion? The, is there uh, uh, those in favor of say aye with the modification? Aye. Those opposed say nay. Okay. And we're on to our regular business. Uh, whether you're attending your first commission meeting or your 100th plus, we welcome you. Our format is relatively uh, simple. Uh, where we'll proceed with calling the case and city staff will then present uh, whatever information that they have into the record. Uh, the commission may ask questions from city staff when city staff is uh, finished and then we'll open up the public hearing portion with that of the petitioner or the petitioner's representative and when they have concluded uh, the commission may then again ask questions of uh, the petitioner or the petitioner's representative and then we'll continue with the public hearing portion with the remainder of the public body anybody wishing to speak we ask that you keep your comments to five minutes or less, and then we'll allow the petitioner, petitioner's representative, if they desire to have any rebuttal at the conclusion of the public hearing portion. Uh, once we conclude the public hearing portion, we'll go into our findings of fact and deliberations, and we'll vote on the, on the uh, application at hand. With that being said, city staff, our first case is HPC 18-11, city staff. This is a public hearing on the request of Kelsey Hiltz Howard to obtain a certificate of appropriateness for the reconstruction of a carport for the property located at 937 Northeast Glen Oak Avenue, parcel identification 1804-278-027. The petitioner is requesting to obtain a certificate of appropriateness for the reconstruction um, of a carport. Uh, much of the work is a repair, um, but there are a couple changes, um, a change in the roof material and a change in the pitch of the roof. Um, you can see in the pictures, there was, it connected to the house um, previously as it does now, but there was a um, roofed over area above and the carport connected um, below. And um, now it just connects to um, the upper roofed over area. <coughs> the, um, there's also some changes in the color. Um, they're proposing to use this white color um, to match um, some of the white on the house um, and uh, the brown color similar to the doors on the uh, roof material. <coughs> Here's some pictures of um, the work in progress. And here's, this is the roof material previously, um, and here's what's um, proposed currently. And here's some pictures from the um, inside of the carport of the repair. Um, the commission should consider the criteria in Historic Preservation Ordinance Section 1664 when determining if the proposed work is compatible and appropriate with the options to approve the application as requested, modify and grant the application, or deny the application. 
If denied, the petitioner will not be able to submit an application for the same improvements until it's modified to meet the commission's request or a period of one year has elapsed. Are there any questions? City staff, are there any other applicable permits that the homeowners have? Yeah, they, there's, they will need a building permit and they've already applied for that. Uh, the building inspector has met with them. Um, so there's not any issues there. It's just a matter of getting HPC approval. Okay. Commissioners, any questions for city staff? Okay, we'll begin our public hearing portion. But one segment I forgot this morning. Anybody wishing to speak uh, to the commission uh, this morning, if you could stand to be sworn in, we'll just swear you in all at once. Uh, so if you plan on speaking to the commission this morning, please stand to be sworn in. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is true to the best of your knowledge? Thank you. Thank you. And then when you do have an opportunity before you leave, uh, since you've been sworn in, if you could fill out the blue form uh, here on the rail and just provide that to any one of our city staff members before you leave, that'd be greatly appreciated. We'll begin our public hearing portion. Uh, would the petitioner or the petitioner's representative like to come forward and speak anything on the record? They're welcome to do so at this time. If you could speak your name for the record. Craig Howard, so I reside here. Uh, a lot of the material that was already there was rotten, and that was why we started the repair. Um, the roof pit, the way it was, water would not drain off. So I mean, everything, as we started to, to tear stuff down just to make minor repairs, it turned into a bigger repair. So I do have some pictures of the rotted material as well, um, if you want me to provide that. So, Commissioners, do you have any questions for the petitioner? Just one quick question. Was there previously a garage door? Yes, that's the it? original garage door that was on there. We just plan on reusing that. Okay. So. And uh, what, what's the current roof slope like compared to what you're proposing? Oh, that's, that is the current roof slope okay. right now. So the old one was maybe from a 20-foot span, uh, maybe an inch and a half. So there was no way for the water to drain off, which is part of the reason it rotted. Uh, now it's about a 212. A 212. So where the water okay. can drain off. And is the pitch in the same direction as the original yes. lesser pitch? Okay. Yep. Any proposed gutters? Yes. On the, the end, uh, we'll have a gutter. Um, the original one did have a gutter as well on that same end. Okay. And just for a point of clarification, just so you know, you don't need HPC approval to replace a gutter. We accept the right. K style or the half round style. Those are uh, now exempt from the ordinance. So just wondering about water drainage there. Commissioners, any other questions? Okay, none, thank you, thank you. Is there anybody else from the public wishing to speak regarding this matter? Second call, anybody else wishing to speak? Being none, we're at the point of deliberations. Uh, commissioners. Is there a motion? I move to approve as requested. Is there? Second. Okay, there's a motion to approve by Commissioner Harold. Uh, there's a second by Commissioner Matuzak. We'll conduct our findings of fact. Item number one, every reasonable effort shall be made to provide a compatible use for a property that requires minimal alteration of the building structure or site and its environment or to use the property for its originally intended purpose. Yes. Item number two, the distinguishing original qualities or character of a building, structure, or site and its environment shall not be destroyed. The removal or alteration of any historic material or distinctive architectural feature should be avoided when possible. Yes. yes. Item number three, all building structures and sites shall be recognized as products of their own time, alterations that have no historical basis and that shall seek create an early appearance shall be discouraged. 
Item number four, changes that may have taken place in the course of time or evidence of history, history and development of a building structure or site and its environment. These changes may have acquired significance in their own right, and this significance shall be recognized and respected. NA. Item number five, distinctive stylistic features or examples of skilled craftsmanship that characterize a building structure or site shall be treated with sensitivity. Yes. Item number six, deteriorated architectural features shall be repaired rather than replaced whenever possible. In the event that replacement is necessary, new material should match material being replaced in composition, design, color, texture, and other visual qualities. Repair or replacement of missing architectural features should be based on accurate duplications of features substantiated by historical, physical, or pictorial, pictorial evidence rather than conjectural design or availability of different architectural elements from the other buildings or structures. Yes. yes. Seven, the surface cleaning of structures shall be undertaken with the gentlest means possible. Sandblasting and other cleaning methods that will damage historic buildings materials shall not be undertaken. No. Okay. Item number eight, every reasonable effort shall be made to protect and preserve <coughs> archaeological resources affected by or adjacent to any project. N.A. Item number nine, contemporary design or alterations and additions to existing properties shall not be discouraged when such alterations and additions do not destroy significant historical, architectural, or cultural material, and such design is compatible with the size, scale, color, materials, and character of property, neighborhood, or environment. Yes. Item number 10, whenever possible, new additions or alterations shall not be done in a manner that if such additions or alterations were removed in the future, the essential form and integrity of the structure would be unimpaired. Yes. Item number 11, the proposed work conforms to the following design cri criteria as well as any specific guidelines. Item number A, the height. The height proposed structure and additions and alterations should be compatible with surrounding structures. Yes. yes. Item B, proportions of structure's front facade, the proportion between the width and the height, the proposed structure should be compatible with nearby structures. Yes. yes. Item C, proportions of openings in the facility, the proportions and relationships between doors and windows should be compatible with existing structures. Yes. Item D, relationship of building masses and spaces, the relationship of a structure to the open space between it and adjoining structures should be compatible. Yes. Item E, roof shapes, the design of the roof should be compatible with adjoining structures. Yes. Item F, landscape and appurtenances, the landscape and use of appurtenances should be sensitive to the individual structures, its occupants, and their needs. Further, the landscape treatment should be compatible with surrounding structures and landscapes. And I. No. Item G, scale of structure, the scale of structure should be compatible with surrounding structures. Yes. Item H, directional expression from elevation. The street facade should be blended with other structures with regard to directional expression. When adjacent structures have a dominant horizontal or vertical expression, this should be carried over and reflected. Yes. Item I, architectural details. Architectural details and materials should be incorporated as necessary to relate the new with the old and preserve and enhance the inherent characteristics of that area. Yes. Yes. Okay. City staff, please call roll. Commissioner Doherty? Yes. Commissioner Harold? Yes. Commissioner Krause? Yes. Commissioner Matuszak? Yes. <coughs> Chairman Powers? Yes. Okay, your certificate of appropriateness has been uh, approved. It's valid for 12 months. And if you have any other questions or need any further assistance, please contact your city staff member that you've been working with. And we'll be happy to be of any further assistance. And uh, thank you for your uh, commitment uh, to historic preservation and your improvements in our city. Thank you. Okay, we're going to call our next case, HPC 18-12. Uh, city staff, uh, could the record reflect that I'll be abstaining from this as to having a financial interest within 250 feet? Okay, the case has been called HPC 18-12. Um, city staff, would you please present the case? <coughs> this is a public hearing on the request of Jill Stowe of Peoria, Illinois, of the Peoria 
City County Health Department to obtain a certificate of appropriateness to allow for window replacements for the property located at 1206 North Ellis Street, parcel identification number 18043040008. The petitioner is requesting a certificate of appropriateness to allow window replacements. The Peoria City County Health Department intends to replace 12 windows through its lead hazard control program, a housing and, housing and urban development program. The intention of the program is to mitigate the health hazard associated with lead-based paint at the subject property. The, according to the applicant, the windows need to be replaced in order to remove the lead hazard and have functioning windows. According to the scope of work, the paint color will match existing components. The subject property is located in the West Bluff National Historic District. The Illinois State Historic Preservation Office concluded the scope of work with conditions can meet their design review standards. The applicant has stated they will meet the conditions. The applicant will not be replacing three historic windows located in bedroom one per the review of the Illinois State Historic Preservation Office. These windows will be paint stabilized and cleaned. You should have that detailed information in your packet. The Commission should consider the criteria in the Historic Preservation Ordinance Section 16-64 when determining if the proposed work is compatible and appropriate. Three options you have include approve the application as requested, modify <coughs> and grant the application, or deny the application. If denied, the petitioner will not be able to submit the application for the same improvements until it is modified to fit the Commissioner's request or a period of one year has lapsed. Okay, public comments will now be open. Um, let's begin with the applicant, please. <coughs> Hello, my name is Brian Gully. I'm actually filling in for Jill Stowe. She's out of town at a conference. Um, I don't have a whole lot more to add to that other, I mean, we're basically just requesting permission to replace 12 um, existing wood windows with new vinyl double hungs. And the three, uh, three windows, I believe, that are at the front of the house will uh, just be stabilized. So, is there any questions? Thank you. Um, is there anyone else that would like to make a statement if there are no questions at this time? We'll, we'll come back to that. I have a question. Yes, sir. It appears that the front windows have a vertical mountain uh, dividing the window. Okay. Do the other windows have that? I guess my point is, are the, uh, the windows that you're replacing, will they be the same size, shape, and style with the divided lights? I do not see Muntins on the other windows. Okay. I have, I'm not sure what other pictures you guys have. Yeah, I couldn't I tell. I'll show you what I have here uh, on the risk assessment report. I could tell on these. Yeah, it's clear on the front, but I couldn't tell on the side. Well, it looks like on the side with the uh, the porch with the door, it looks like the upstairs and lower floors have the uh, mountains. So. Yeah, I see the upstairs ones now. Okay, thank you. Commissioners or staff, any other questions for the applicant? Okay, before we close the public hearing part, um, let's just call again. Anybody else from the public wishing to comment? Commissioners, any point of clarification? Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's go ahead and deliberate. Okay. Anybody? Okay, may we have a motion? I'll move to approve as long as the, uh, the replacement windows include the mountains where there's an existing mountain. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Jan. Um, <clears throat> right, let's get the fact finding sheet for HPC 1812. 
The Commission shall consider when, ap when applicable the following criteria and determine whether or not proposed work is compatible and appropriate. Every reasonable effort shall be made to provide a compatible use for the property that requires minimal op alteration of the building structure or site and its environment or to use the property for its originally intended pur purpose. Yes. yes. Number two, the distinguish, uh, distinguishing original qualities or character of the building structure or site and its environment shall not be destroyed. The removal or alteration of any historical material or distinctive architectural features shall, shall be avoided when possible. Yes. Number three, all building structures and sites shall be recognized as products of their own time. <clears throat> Alterations that have no historical basis and that seek to create an earlier appearance shall be discouraged. Yes. yes. Number four, changes that may have taken place in the course of time are evidence of history and development of a building, structure, or site in its environment. These changes may have acquired significance in their own right, and this significance shall be recognized and respected. Yes. Number five, distinctive stylistic features or examples of skilled craftsmanship that characterize a building, structure, or site, site shall be treated with sensitivity. Yes. Yes. Number six. Deteriorated architectural features shall be repaired rather than replaced whenever possible. In the event that replacement is necessary, the new material shall match the material being replaced in composition, design, color, texture, and other visible qualities. Repair or replacement of missing architectural features shall be based on accurate duplications of features substantiated by historical, physical, or pictorial evidence rather than conjectural design or, or availability of different architectural elements from other buildings or structures. Yes. Yes. Number seven, the surface cleaning of structures shall be undertaken with the gentlest means possible. Sandblasting and other cleaning method, methods that will damage the historic building materials shall not be undertaken. Mm -hmm. Number eight, every reasonable effort shall be made to protect and preserve architectural resources affected or adjacent to any project. Mm -hmm. Number nine, contemporary design for alterations and additions to existing properties shall be discouraged when such alterations or additions do not, do not destroy significant historical, architectural, or cultural material, and such design is compatible with the size, scale, color, materials, and character of the property, neighborhood, or environment. Yes. yes. Number 10, whenever possible, new additions or alterations will be done in such a manner that if it's such additions or alterations were, were to be removed in the future, future, the essential form and integrity of the structure would be unimpaired. Yes. yes. Number 11, the proposed work conforms to the following design criteria as well as any specific guideline. A, height. The height of the pro proposed structure or additions or alterations shall be compatible with the surrounding structures. Yes. B, proportions of the structural front, front facade. The proportion between the width and height of the proposed structure shall be con compatible with nearby structures. Yes. C, proportions of openings into the facility. The proportions and relationships between the doors and windows shall be compatible with existing structures. D, relationship of building masses and spaces. The relationship of a structure to the open space if an adjourning structure shall be compatible. Yes. 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 E, roof shape. The design of the roof shall be compatible with adjourning structures. Adjoining N -A. structures. N-A? N-A. Mm -hmm. Number F, landscape and appurtenance. Landscaping and the use of appurtenance shall be sensitive to the individual structures, its, its occupants, and their needs. Further, the landscape treatment shall be compatible with the, with the surrounding structures and the landscapes. N -A. G, scale of structure. The scale of the structure shall be compatible with the surrounding structures. A. N -A. H, directional expression from elevation. Street facades should blend with other structures with regard to directional expression. When adjacent structures have a dominant horizontal or vertical expression, this shall be carried over and reflected. Yes. I, architectural details. Architectural details and materials shall be incorporated as necessary to relate the new with the old and to preserve and enhance the inherent char characteristics of the area. Yes. yes. Okay. City staff, please call the roll for the vote. Commissioner Doherty? Yes. 
Commissioner Harold? Yes. Commissioner Krause? Yes. Chairwoman Matuzak? Yes. The application has been approved. Which, if you have further questions or need assistance, would you please contact city staff? Thank you all. You have been approved. Uh, next case. Thank you, Vice Chair Matuzak. We'll call our next case, uh, HPC 18-13 City Staff. This is a request of Robert Monier to obtain a certificate of appropriateness to allow for window replacements for the property located at 1715 West Moss Avenue, parcel identification number 18081520032. The petitioner is requesting a certificate of appropriateness to allow 22 window replacements. The applicant has contracted with Renewal by Anderson to manufacture and install the windows. This, request for window, this is a request for window replacement only. According to the application, window size, grill patterns, colors, and aesthetics will match the originals. The Commission should consider the criteria in the Historic Preservation sec Ordinance Section 16-64 to determine if the proposed work is compatible and appropriate. You may approve the application as requested, modify and grant the application, or deny the application. If denied, the petitioner will not be able to submit an application for the same improvements until it is modified to the Commission's request or for a period, if a period of one year has elapsed. Uh, commissioners, any questions for uh, city staff? Are there pi uh, pictures of the proposed in the application? Yes. But I, excuse me. There's there's pictures of the existing windows. Okay. Um, the petitioner is here along with representatives from Renewal by Anderson to provide you with more information about the proposed. Okay. We'll open up our uh, public hearing portion beginning with that of the petitioners or the petitioner's representative. If you'd like to come forward and speak your name for the record and any comments that you'd like to make to the commission, you're welcome to do so at this time. Well, my name is Robert Monier. Um, I'm replacing the windows that look exactly like the ones that are there now. All, all different windows and their muttons are going to be in this. Uh, the windows that I have now, I can't open. Uh, the glass is broken in a lot of them. The buttons are broken on them. So I just want to replace them so they're usable. Okay. Are there any questions for the petitioner, commissioners? Okay. None. Um, anybody else from the public wishing to speak? City staff or uh, the petitioner's representative or the, the uh, third party, I'm interested in actually what type of windows are being proposed to go in there. If uh, there's anything that anybody could speak to the record. If you could speak your name for the record, thank you for coming. No problem. Uh, my name is Scott Schleins. I'm with Renewal by Anderson in Central Illinois. Um, the product is a composite material that we use um, and have used for uh, since the early 70s. Um, it's a product that's made to never rot, corrode, fade, warp. We can achieve different colors, including blacks for the exterior. Um, so it works real well in historical areas. Okay. Any questions, commissioners? No, thank you very much for that clarification. Thank you. Anybody else from the public wishing to speak? Anybody else from the public wishing to speak? Final call. Okay, we'll close the public hearing portion. Commissioners, we're at the point of deliberation. Any comments? Well, as we typically approve window replacements, as long as they match the uh, size, shape, and uh, divided light with the muttons, I would move to approve this request. Okay. And that. Okay, there's a motion to approve by Commissioner Harold. And a second to approve by Commissioner Doherty. And uh, we'll conduct our findings of fact. 
Item number one, every reasonable effort shall be made to provide a compatible use for a property that requires a minimal alteration of the building structure or site and its environment or to use a property for its originally intended purpose. Yes. Item number two, the distinguishing original qualities or character of a building structure or site and the environment shall not be destroyed. The removal or alteration of any historical material or distinctive architectural feature should be avoided when possible. Yes. yes. Item three, all building structures and sites shall be recognized as products of their own time. Alterations that have no historical basis and that seek to create an earlier appearance shall be discouraged. Yes. Item four, changes that may have taken place over the course of time are evidence of the history and development of a building structure or a site in its environment. These changes may have required significance in their own right, and this significance shall be recognized and respected. Yes. Item five, distinctive stylistic features or examples of skilled craftsmanship that characterize a building structure or a site shall be treated with sensitivity. Yes. yes. Item six, deteriorated architectural features shall be repaired rather than replaced whenever possible. In the event replacement is necessary, the new material should match the material being replaced in composition, design, color, texture, and other visual qualities. Repair or replacement of missing architectural features should be based on accurate duplications of features substantiated by historical, physical, or pictorial evidence rather, rather on conjectural design or availability of different architectural elements from other buildings or structures. Yes. Item seven, the surface cleaning of structures shall be undertaken with gentlest means possible. Sandblasting and other means and methods that sh will damage the historic building material shall not be undertaken. N.A. N.A. Eight, every reasonable effort shall be made to protect <laughs> and preserve archaeological resources affected by or adjacent to any project. N.A. Item nine, contemporary designer for alterations and additions to existing properties shall not be discouraged when such alterations and additions do not destroy significant historical, architectural, or cultural material, and such design is compatible with size, scale, color, materials, and character of the property, neighborhood, or environment. Yes. Item 10, whenever possible, new additions or alterations shall be done in, in a manner that if such additions or alterations were to be removed in the future, the essential form and integrity of the structure would be unimpaired. Yes. Item 11, the proposed work conforms to the following design criteria as well as any specific guidelines. Item number A, the height. The height of the proposed structure or additions or alterations should be compatible with surrounding structures. Yes. Yes. Proportions of item B, proportions of the structures, front facade, the proportion between the width and the height of the proposed structure should be compatible with nearby structures. Yes. yes. Item C, the proportions of openings into the facility, the proportions and relationships between doors and windows should be compatible with existing structures. Yes. Item D, relationship of building masses and spaces, the relationship of a structure to the open space between an adjoining structure should be compatible. Yes. Item E, roof shapes, the design of the roof should be compatible with adjoining structures. N A. Item F, landscape and impertinences. Landscaping and the use of appurtenances should be sensitive to the individual structures, its occupants, and their needs. Further, the landscape treatment should be compatible with surrounding structures and landscapes. And I. And I. Item G, scale of structure. The scale of structure should be compatible with surrounding structures. And I. Item H, directional expression from elevation street facade should be blended with other structures with regard to directional expression. When adjacent structures have a dominant horizontal or vertical expression, this should be carried over and reflected. Yes. Item I, architectural details. Architectural details and materials should be incorporated as necessary to relate the new with the old and preserve and enhance the inherent characteristics of that area. Yes. yes. City staff, please call roll. Commissioner Doherty? Yes. Commissioner Harold? Yes. Commissioner Krause? Yes. Commissioner Matuzak? Yes. Chairman Powers? Yes. Okay, your certificate of appropriateness has been approved. It's valid for 12 months. Um, and if you need any other further assistance, uh, please contact our city staff member. Uh, we are there for you. And thank you for your investment in the community as well as in your home. Thank you very much. Okay. We are at uh, item number five, citizens' opportunity to address the commission. Is there anybody from the public wishing to address the commission today? Second call, anybody from the public wishing to address the commission or commissioners, any statements you'd like to make? 
Okay, being none, we're going to close the public hearing portion. Uh, we're at an election of officers. It's our annual time. It was, was uh, deferred by one month uh, from our last meeting. And so the secretary is actually incorporated in our ordinance to automatically be a city staff liaison member. And then we need to elect uh, a chair and vice chair. And we'll start with the vice chair. Is that the correct procedure to start with vice chair? And then we'll elect chair. Is there a nomination for vice chair? I'll nominate Commissioner Matuzak. There is a nomination for Commissioner Matuzak. Are there any other nominations? Okay. We have one nomination, uh, Commissioner Matuzak for Vice Chair. Uh, let's call, let's uh, do a verbal roll. Um, those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. Commissioner, uh, Vice Chair uh, Matuzak, you've been nominated and elected as our Vice Chair for another year. Thank you. <laughs> and now for Chairman, uh, are there nominations for Chairman? Yes, I would uh, nominate um, our current Chairman, Robert Johnson. Okay. Um, any other nominations? Okay. We have one nomination for Robert Johnson, or is that Powers? Powers. <laughs> yeah, okay. Any other nominations? There's one nomination. Those in favor of say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. Thank you, everybody. And um, uh, finally, I know it's not on our agenda, but I just wanted to take an opportunity to thank uh, Commissioner Harold for his years of uh, dedication to our commission and to our city. Uh, Commissioner Harold has indicated he would not like to uh, uh, renew his appointment. And he's been a great adversary and a great person to be on the commission, um, providing much dedication to what he loves at heart. And uh, I know he will continue to serve an important role in our community. And I'd just like to take that opportunity to thank you, uh, Commissioner Harold. Thank, thank you. you. Ten years is a long time. Many years, thank you. And motion for adjournment. I'll move. I'll move. Okay. Any seconds? <laughs> Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed say nay. Thank you everybody for coming. <laughs>